I think when people think of the Salvation Army, they, they often think of just a thrift store or a red kettle, but the truth is, those are really just fundraising opportunities for us to do something and have a much broader impact on the people of Omaha. We have a Super 7. It's an entire broad spectrum of services that really meets the needs of the individual right where they are, which is exactly what the Salvation Army wants to do. We have several programs that work with older adults in the community. One of those is a Durham Booth Manor, which has 48 apartments uh, for low-income older adults. Another program is called the Dora Bingle Senior Center, and that works with 45, 50 people a day that come in and seek support, uh, pro are provided a meal for a dollar. It's the camaraderie, it's the connections, and it's the sense, again, of building a larger community. There are on average about 900 people for sale across the state of Nebraska um, at any given month. So the safety program stands for the Salvation Army's Fight to End Trafficking. We help them access things like mental health treatment, substance abuse treatment, housing resources, medical care, employment. Really our mission is to empower the survivors to build their lives in a way that works for them. I come from the actual struggle myself so I can relate to everybody. Actually interacting with those in the same community that I come from, you know, I just feel like I've never left. It gives them um, opportunity to get off of the streets and do something positive. The goal is building character while having fun. At the Burrow Center, we, we like to think of it as a one-stop shop for the consumers that come in that are in need of some services. And so the clients are able to walk through, they can select the items that they like, that they can use. In addition to our food pantry, we provide referrals, utility assistance, school supplies and backpacks to the kids when they are um, going back to school. If they need us, they just come see us. If they're without food, we're gonna make sure that they get the food that they need in order to feed themselves or their families. We try to really help individuals in a crisis get restabilized. They're facing homelessness, they don't have any income, they have very limited resources. In the last 12 calendar months, we have served 592 people. However, there is a significant need still in the community for these individuals to be helped on a more immediate basis. When I walked up on the floor, I was welcomed with open arms. The staff is unbelievable. I feel good. I feel safe. They've given me hope is what this program has done. One of the main programs of the Salvation Army is to work with the homeless population. On an annual basis, we probably serve about 53,000 nights of service for individuals. On a typical evening, we would have maybe 200 people sleeping on campus. And I think many clients have said to us, without the Salvation Army, I would be dead. I would be on the streets, or I don't know if I'd even be alive. Those are the stories that we hear daily, and I think inspire us to give all that we can to help people to get to the next step. Back in 1886, the Salvation Army started here in Omaha, a little storefront building. And that all started with a little model that, that William Booth had, the founder of the Salvation Army, Soup, Soap, and Salvation, which was a marvelous thing to think about in how you impact the lives of people. And we still do that very same thing today, where we have a broad spectrum of services across several different facilities that still meet the emotional, physical, and spiritual needs of people across Omaha.